Byron heads out himself for a row in the final days of the book season. I've only just arrived on the farm and I've already seen two road here um, on the dirt track on my way in. When I got to the end where I was going to park up, there was another three row about to come out into the woods and onto the rape field. They've now moved down and into a little bit of a dip. So I'm going to go around the winds in my favour and then just slowly crawl over the edge. And I hope they should see them at the bottom. It's a chance for a textbook stalk and spy routine. And thankfully, Byron has more luck than Andy, with the Dern followers quickly coming into range. I thought that my plan had been scuppered when I had a look over the rise. The three row had moved on a lot further than I thought they would be. Normally, they stop in this little bit of a dip. They were actually at the far end of the field and about to cross in front of the farmhouse. But a little bit of luck's been on our side and the farmer's dog has started to bark. They've turned round and they're actually walking back towards us now. So hopefully with any luck they're going to walk back up the same route they took and back into the forest. We'll just have to wait and see. Here they come. The way it kicked out backwards, I think I must have clipped the liver there. I just carried the kid off the farmer's crop. I didn't really want to growl it all over his new rape. Um, it's quite a, a reasonable shot. Just came in the bottom here, tucked right behind the uh, right behind the front leg. Well, we've got another two days left of the buck season, and this is indeed is a, a small kid buck. I wouldn't normally be shooting uh, a buck at this age. I like to leave them for a year or two, so you can see exactly how they're going to turn out. However, on this particular farm, farmers been grumbling a little bit about seeing a lot of roe deer, and. In actual fact, there are more roe deer on the farm this year than there have been in previous years, and I think part of that is because of the large tracts of rape that have been planted. Uh, I mean, one particular group that he keeps on seeing is this doe and three kids that are not too far from the, the farmhouse, and those were the, the three that I saw this morning. I thought it might be a good idea to reduce that number by one. When I found them, uh, it was actually three buck kids, believe it or not, uh, so I picked the buck kid with the smallest body uh, as a basis of selection, uh, as the best that I could do, just to try and bring the numbers down, keep the farmer on side. If you don't have the farmer on side, you'll lose your shooting, somebody else will get it. So sometimes you have to do things like this where you wouldn't normally um, shoot an animal. But anyway, good clean kill, uh, quite happy with this. Uh, doe season starts in a couple of days. So uh, very much looking forward to that and then just getting the numbers uh, back in check and keeping the farmer happy again. And now that we've got the growlic out, you can see the damage that the bullet did. Um, today we're using 105 grain gecko ammunition. Um, like I said before, the entry wound was just tucked in beside the left shoulder. Uh, because of the angle that it was standing at, it exited just on the other side of the diaphragm. Uh, the stomach wasn't burst at all, but it did tra travel through the liver. Uh, so there isn't a hell of a lot of the liver left. You can see the, the damage of the, on the lungs here, where the bullet passed through, clearly expanding um, on its journey. Uh, because of where, where my shot travelled, it didn't actually go through the heart, so you can't see any damage on the heart there. Uh, but good amount of blood filling the lungs and travelling through the, through the liver, um, there isn't much liver left. So the bullet doing exactly what it's supposed to do. I've used the gecko ammunition before, um, and the meat damage from them is, is very good, actually. Uh, the 105 grains really does hit them hard, um, but it's not traveling so fast that you end up with a, a lot of bloodshot meat. So it does the job, and you still end up with plenty of meat to eat. Right, back to the larder. <laughs> 